Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be talking about Slovene declension. So first, if you haven't, please watch my video on Slovene declension where we talk about the theory. Because in this one we will actually do practice. So you actually need to already understand Slovene declension. But I will summarize it for anybody who already watched my video a while ago. So, we have six cases. Nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, locative, and instrumental. And, of course, Slovene has three numbers, singular, dual, and plural. And a non-Slovene can have one of the following three genders, masculine, feminine, and neuter. How do we know a masculine, masculine? It ends in a constant. If it's feminine, it usually ends in an A, but not always. And a neuter usually ends in O or E, but also not always. We can also have masculine words that end with A, E, or O. Okay, so we have masculine nouns where Soft stems and hard stems are important. And we are also looking at inanimate and animate objects. We have feminine A stems, where we don't look at hard stems and soft stems, or animate or inanimate objects. We have the feminine I stem nouns which is typically used for words with the ost ending, while the a stem nouns are used for words with a um, noun that ends with o, oh, that ends with a, I'm sorry. So, then at last we have neuter o stem nouns, and neuter o stems are divided between hard and soft stems, and nominative and accusative are always the same. Okay, so at first we are going to look at the word machka. This is machka. Machka means cat. So because it ends with an A, machka is a feminine word. And because it ends with A, it's an A stem. So we have a feminine and A stem. Um, now, now, here is what we're going to use to use this noun. We use the root machk to create these endings. So the endings A, E, O, E are the same here. A, E, O, E. We just add the root before the ending. So nominative would be machka. So nominative in Slovene is imenovalnik. And the question for the nominative is kdo ali kai. Kdo ali kai je mačka? Who or what is a cat? So, kdo ali kai je mačka? Genitive is koga ali česa. Koga ali česa ni mačke. Who or what isn't cat? Accusative in Slovene is tužilnik. And the question is, koga ali kai? Koga ali kai vidim mačko? Who or what do I see? A cat. Dative in Slovene is called dialnik. Komu ali čemu? So, komu ali čemu dam? Mački. Who or what do I give to? A cat. Locative in Slovene is called mesnik. 
okom ali o čem? O kom ali o čem? O mački. About who or about what? About a cat. An instrumental is orodnik. S kom ali s čim? S kom ali s čim? Z mačka. We will talk about when Z or S is used, but basically you can use either Z or S depending on which letter is, uh, is next after the Z or S. Okay? So, <clears throat> we do the same for singular, dual, and plural. In dual, of course, we have two cats. So, kdo ali kaj je? Mački. So, who or what is? Cat. Koga ali česa ni? Mačk. Koga ali kaj vidim? Mački. Komu ali čemu dam? Mačkama. O kom ali o čem govorim? O mačkah. Z kom ali z čem grem? Z mačkama. And for plural, we have more cats. So, three or more cats. So, at first, nominative. Kdo ali kaj je? Mačke. Who or what is? Cats. Koga ali česa ni? Mačk. Who or what isn't there? Cats. Accusative. Koga ali kaj vidim? Mačke. Who or what do I see? Cats. Dative. Komu ali čemu dam? Who or what do I give? Mačkam. Uh, locative. O kom ali o čem govorim? O mačkah. About who or about what am I speaking? About cats. An instrumental. S kom ali s čim grem? Z mačkami. With whom or with what am I going? With cats. So you understand. We will go into more details when we use each of these cases in a future video. But for now, you just have to understand there are six cases and the ending. So these are, of course, Feminine A stem and now let's keep going. Next we have the word auto. No, auto has the ending O, which might make you think that it's a uh, neuter. However, auto is a masculine word. And auto also has a hard stem because it ends with O. Remember, soft stems end with C, CH, SH, Z, and Y, and hard stems end with anything else. And of course, auto, so car, is an inanimate object because it isn't alive. Okay? And we have to keep this in mind. For masculine words. So let's go. So we said we will use hard declension and we will use so we will use only this part of of this. We disregard the soft declension part. Another thing is that the accusative, because this is an inanimate object, the accusative is the same as the nominative, which is what we already talked about. So this means that auto and auto. Okay? The accusative is the same as nom nominative. Okay. But if this was an animate object, accusative would be the same as genitive and it would be auto. Okay. So the root here is out. Out. Now, the endings are in bold. 
And basically, to do this, I just copy and paste out before every ending. So, kdo ali kaj je auto. Koga ali česa ni auta. Koga ali kaj vidim auto. Komu ali čemu dam auto. Koga um, o kom ali o čem govorim o auto. Z kom ali s čim grem z auto. And the same for dual and plural. Okay? So, let's go. Kdo ali kaj je? Auta. So, two cars. Who or what is? Two cars. Koga ali česa ni? Auto. Dvih auto. Who isn't there? Two cars. Koga ali kaj vidim? Auta. Who or what do I see? Cars. Two cars. Komu ali čemu dam? Automa. Who or what do I give? Two cars. Koga, uh, o kom ali o čem govorim? O auti. About who or what am I speaking? About cars. About two cars specifically. And z kom ali z čem grem? Z automa. With what? Or with whom am I going? With two cars. So if you're going to say, um, I'm going on vacation with three cars, I'm going to say, Na more grem z auti, z tremi auti. Or if I'm going to say, this is a car, I'm going to say, to je auto. Or if I'm going to say, there aren't two cars, I'll say, ni dvih auto. Or if I'm going to say, I see a car, I'll say, vidim auto, vidim an auto. I'm going to say, um, I'm speaking about three cars, I'm going to say govorim o trih auti, and so on. Again, we'll speak about this in a future video. So let's keep going. Now, in the next one, we will use the word krilo. Krilo ends with an O, so tisto krilo. Meaning it's um, it's a neuter. And because it ends in a, with an O, it's again a hard stem. Krilo. Now, for neuters, we have hard and soft stems again. So remember, masculine uses hard and soft stem feminine doesn't but neuter does however masculine is the only one that divides between animate and inanimate objects but the good thing to remember here is to make it easier for you to learn is that in o stem nouns for neuter nominative and accusative are always the same form and Many declensions will be the same as masculine. Okay, let's get going. So we said we have a hard declension again. So again, we only look at this part. And of course, we have neuter O stem nouns. So again, we have the word krilo. The root for this word is kril. Um, and then we add the endings to that. The endings are what is in bold. So we have Gdo ali kai ye krilo. Who or what is a skirt? Koga ali chesa ni? Who or what isn't? Krila. Komo ali chemu dam? Oh, I'm sorry. Koga ali kai vidim? 
scrilă, so who or what do I see, a skirt, cum o lecem o dam, scrilă, who or what do, whom or what do I give, the skirt, o cum ali o cem gubărim, o scrilă, about who or about what am I speaking, about a skirt, să cum ali să cem grim, the krilon. With whom or with what am I going? With the skirt. So if you're going to a concert with um, a skirt, you say na concert grim se krilon. Or if somebody asks you what are you talking about, you will say govorim o krilu. Okay? And so on. Now, same thing for dual, but we have two skirts now. Um, kdo ali kaj je? Krili. Koga ali česa ni? Kril. Koga ali kaj vidim? Krili. O, uh, komo ali čemu dam? Kriloma. O kom ali o čem govorim? O krilih. S kom ali s čim grem? S kriloma. So if you're wearing two skirts to the concert, you say Grem s dvema kriloma. Okay? And now we have plural. This means we have three or more skirts now. Again, we use the same roots. And we just put the plural endings on top of G. Gdo ali kaj je? Krila. Who or what is? Skirts. Koga ali česa ni? Kril. Who or what? Uh, who or what isn't? Skirts. Um, koga ali kaj vidim? Krila. Who or what do I see? Skirts. Komo ali čemu dam? Krilom. Who or what do I give? Skirt. O kom ali o čem govorim? About who or about what am I speaking? O krilih. S kom ali s čim grem? S krili. With what or with who am I going? With skirt. Now, we did... A masculine word, a feminine word, and a neuter. Now, we are back here again, and we're going to do the word prashic. And I picked one, this one because it goes by the rules of uh, masculine, feminine, and neuter. So try to... Try to figure out if this is masculine, feminine, or neuter in your head. And is, if it's neuter, try to figure out if it's a hard stem or a soft stem. Same thing if it's a masculine. And if it's masculine, tell me, is this an animate, animate object or an inanimate object? Okay, pause this video until you're done. Okay, I'll tell you now. So... Prashic is a masculine word because it ends in a consonant. Okay? Prashic, ch. It's a soft, soft stem because soft stems end with c, ch, sh, z, y. So ch, we have a ch here, so it's a soft stem. And it's an animate object because it's a pig, it's a living thing. Okay? Pants aren't an animate object, they're not alive, but a pig is. So, this time, we don't have a hard declension, we have a soft declension. So look at this part, okay? And let's go. Same thing here, just soft declension. So we have slightly different endings, but the rules still go. Gdo ali kaj je prašič? Who or what is a pig? Oh, I forgot to tell you. The root is prašič. Okay? 
koga aliche sani prashicha for what isn't a pig koga alikhai vidim prashicha so why why is this the same as genitive it's because it's an animate object it's alive so we will use the accusative will be the same as genitive for the singular version okay uh como aliche mudam prashitu who or what do i give a pig o kom ali o chem kubrim o prashitu about who or about what am i speaking about a pig se kom ali se chem grem se prashichem with what or with whom am i going with the pig so when we use dual it's about only two pigs so gdo alikaya prashicha for what is two pig hogalice sani prashicha for what isn't two pig oko kogalikai vidim prashicha for what do i see two pigs como alice mudam prashichama who or what do i give pigs o kom ali o chem govorim o prashichich about whom or about what am i speaking about two pigs se kom ali se chem grem se prashichama with what or with whom am i going with pigs and plural which is three or more pigs so gdo ali kaya prashichi for what is pigs koga ali chesani prashicho for what isn't pigs accusative um is koga ali kai vidim prashicha for what do i see pigs koma ali chemudam prashicham for what do i give pigs o kom ali o chem gubrim about whom or about what am i speaking o prashichi se kom ali se chem grem with whom or with what am i going se prashichi so if i'm going like who am i talking about what am i talking about o prashichi o kom gubrim or o chem gubrim o prashichi then if i want to be like i see pigs vidim prashicha or and so on and that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video hopefully um my next video will be soon goodbye